What's going on everybody? Steve here, Rake and Profit, and uh, we're actually headed to um, Orange, Connecticut right now to the first thrift store of our Connecticut thrifting meetup. Got my girlfriend, Jana Lee's behind the camera, making the magic happen today. So essentially what we're gonna be doing is we're meeting up with like, I don't know, 20 to 40 resellers from all over the New England area. We got people from obviously Connecticut, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, New York coming out. And this is our probably our fourth or fifth event. And what we do is we just thrift all day long. We come together, we thrift, we learn, we help each other out. There's beginners, intermediates, there's experts coming out. And uh, yeah, we go thrifting all day long. And then we're gonna hit up uh, Maggie McFly's for some dinner. And then we're going to Dave and Buster's for some drinks and socializing. So I'm gonna bring you guys along, uh, introduce you to some of the resellers in the area. And I highly recommend if you have any networking or meetups in your area, reselling meetups, definitely go because it's just a great learning experience and uh, hopefully we can share some cool tips and tricks with you. So if you're ready to rock and roll, I'm going to take you guys along on the Connecticut Thrifting Meetup. How do you feel about the first Connecticut Thrifting Meetup? I'm so excited. Yeah? You don't thrift though. Long. Well, I'm going to learn today. <laughs> People are always wondering, they're like, does your girlfriend do thrifting and eBay? You no. don't, but you're thinking about drop shipping. Yes, I've been taking a drop shipping course online. So. so we just got to Savers right now. It looks like there's a couple people starting to pull up. Hopefully we have a pretty good turnout. How many people do you think are gonna come if you had to guess? Um, 30. 30? I think so. All right, we might, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I see a license plate, New Jersey, New York. So those are definitely people for the Connecticut thrifting meetup. Look what the cat dragged in. Morning. What's going on? We got Zach and Brandon here. Hey, you like my new, my beautiful new Subaru? Dude, you're ready to build a family, man. Yes. I'm ready, baby on the way. Got some peeps showing up. Tim, man, haven't had you in a Rake and Profit video in a I while. Been on a video in a Where while. you been, man? I've been doing my own thing, man. Yeah? <laughs> I, I thought the girl was gonna be coming today, no? Later on for dinner. Later? Yeah. Awesome, cool. Well, good to have you here. Who do we have right here? Rake the Valley Picture, what's up? Check them out on YouTube. Yes. Going on, what's up? What's up? Good to have you. Yeah. Awesome. Good to be this stuff, yeah. Oh man, are you sharing? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here at Savers, freezing our butts off. Man, what do we got going on here? Show them what is on Show the what's itinerary on today. Uh huh. The camera's shaking right now because it's so cold. <laughs> Who do we got right here? It's Jerry. Jerry, man. How you doing? How's life been, man? Good, good. You're reselling full time now, huh? Yeah. For the most part. You should see this guy in a thrift store, man. Like, Nuts. Go you crazy. walk in a thrift store and there's like all these shoes on the rack. And then when the next person comes, there's none. None. He buys them all. It's because of me. What's your favorite type of shoe to sell? Uh, Jordan's, um, Balance 990 V4s. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I'm still on my way home. Uh, uh, do you mess with like the Allen Edmonds and like yeah, the Johnson Edmonds, and Murphys? Absolutely, yep, yep. Johnson now Murphy. I got a question, man. Okay. Has that Tommy Bahama gone? It sold? Finally, finally it's sold. It's finally sold. What did that sell for? Uh, about forty. Okay, we went to the thrift store. I think I shared it on Instagram yeah, a while ago. Yeah, and we picked yeah. it up, and it was like nine months later. <laughs> I was like trying to do him a favor. I feel like I knew what I was doing. I'm like, you gotta pick this I up. Dropped the price a, a few times. Yeah. Play with the price, but it finally went. Nice. Got like what? Three, four bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, good to have you, brother. Thank you, man. Who do we got right here? Oh man, do we have the same camera? Is yeah, that a G7X? Like, yeah. Oh, let's give him a little. <laughs> okay. Hey, good to have you here. Good to be man, here. you're crushing it on YouTube. Yeah. If you guys aren't following Martin right here, what's your uh, YouTube name? It's Martin Thrift Store Gold. Man, it's awesome to see yeah. you. How old are you? I'm 21. Dude, there's so many people who are like 18, 19, 20. Good to see you, Zach. Who are like trying to like make money. They're working at gas stations, Toys R Us, yeah. freaking restaurants like I did in. You could go out there and start making money on eBay yeah, and yeah. stuff, just hustling. So I was doing construction work and I mean that sucked. So started reselling after I watched your videos and you've inspired me and I can't thank you enough. I love it. Hey man, well I appreciate it. you're inspiring yeah. me seeing your uh, Instagrams, man, yeah. crushing it in the gym with your girlfriend. Yeah, we go every morning. Awesome. Every morning at uh, seven o'clock we try to be there. We'll follow this guy. Yeah. Do you have a YouTube or anything? I do not have a YouTube. I do have an Instagram. Awesome. Zach what is it? Ott. Zach Ott. Zach Ott. I think it's Zach underscore Ott. Cool. But, yeah, I'm, I'm in the possibly getting the YouTube going in the future with my with my sales. Well, do it, man. Let me know. Awesome. Well, glad to have you here, brother. You too. So we're here inside of Savers right now and uh, looking for some items and whatnot. Greg, what are you looking for mostly? Clothing. I do a lot of clothing. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'll get over there in that section for a second. It's now, good, good to see you guys. The question is, are you going to be able to find an item that sells for more than that Nike T-shirt that you sold? Yeah, that was a sweet find. What was that? It was a 1984 to 1987 Nike single stitch <laughs> T-shirt. Yeah. Yeah, it was sweet. It was the last meetup, so yeah. like two or three months ago. Yeah. So I picked it up at two bucks and I sold it for two hundred and sixteen dollars, if I remember correctly. That is awesome. Yeah, it was sweet. Cool. Hopefully, we'll find something like that today. What are you doing here, man? I just got a PS2, PS2 controller. Maybe complete a bundle. Yeah. Don't these actually do pretty well, like the uh, the colored ones like that that are outside of just I don't know about PS2, but, but yeah. uh, N64. Nice. N64 do well. You gotta go all the way back to the What's yeah. up? Oh, hey. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> so what are we doing here? Looking for some books? Yeah, I'm using my Scan IQ that I recently got, and yeah. it's the cheapest scanner you're ever going to find, but it works really well. So, I've never seen that one before. Yeah, it was like 20-something dollars. What is this? So it's like a little Bluetooth scanner, which yeah. connects to... Are you using Scout IQ, you said? Yeah. Okay. Scout IQ. Awesome. I set it for FBA, and I set it for $3 book price. So so for nothing. Because these are more expensive than what I've been. So paying. if it hits your criteria, it does like a little ding. I turned off the sound, but it does open. It just turns green. I can okay. just see it. So that's what I'm doing. But here's, I wonder about. Um, it's going by the lowest price, but I'm not always selling mine at the lowest price. So would I, if if it says I'd make a dollar, and I said, well, if it's if I if I go from six dollars to eight dollars, I'll make three three dollars. So is that a smart way to think about it, or you should just always go for the lowest price? Because I it just depends on your model. It just depends what you're doing. Like, I wouldn't always go for the lowest price, especially if it's ranked like under a couple hundred thousand, because those things are moving. You know what I mean? Because what's going to happen when the lowest price is gone? It's going to go up to the next. Now the used buy box is fourteen, fourteen dollars and nine cents. So if I bought this for three fifty, it's saying I would make. Oh, you put the cost cents. in. That's yeah. awesome. Okay. Yeah. So, like I was saying, I, I stack up the books that if the book was free, I would make three fifty. Uh -huh. But when I get to the fourth book, then I'll throw one of those other ones. Got in. it. So it's a free book. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. I stack those up. Good find right there. Yeah, that's a good find. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> Panda camera. Panda camera. <laughs> What's up? Good to see you, Angie. Oh, good. How are you? Good. Hi. Hi. How are you? We got Puerto Rico in the house. Oh my God. Oh, what? <laughs> what did you how find? You Just a little clock, and it was always sell for like twenty. Oh, nice. Quick, for me? No, I just said. Twenty good? bucks. I haven't even looked yet, but yeah. I'm gonna go over to the clothing and see if we can find some stuff. It's expensive yeah. here. Yeah. How was the traffic, Angie? It was horrible. Crazy. It took me like three hours. Yeah, there was someone here, Javier. It was like a six-car accident. For the lifetime. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. And there weren't quite. There weren't quite. Many. Hey, Brandon, do you mind showing everybody what did you find over here? All right, we got a little 1992 vintage uh, VTech little Smarty, and you always want to check the insides because this box looks a little beat and the seal's broken, but has never been used. Ooh, what do you think that's worth? Well, they're selling it for what, four ninety nine. I'll get at least forty for it. Nice. So I'll take that all day. Great find, brother. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know that may not have ever. Oh, yeah. And what did you find? What? I need one. I know sometimes they do. So would you pay a dollar? You're gonna sell for a dollar or one no, on I'm eBay? Plug it in. <laughs> <laughs> a dollar. That's my girl. I trained her well. Is that Buzz Lightyear? Yeah, it is. Is that a hamster Damn, cage? Man. <laughs> How much is this thing worth? <laughs> uh, mine's not fully working, so <laughs> it's not gonna get top dollar, but I had one when I was a kid. It doesn't fly. No. If you throw it out the window, it might, but it's mostly gonna break. <laughs> So how do we do? All right, first yeah, store. Yeah, a little shirt. Nice, nice. Well, hey. Is this your fifth Connecticut thrifting meetup in a row? This is the fifth, and this is my fifth. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Awesome. How's everything going? Really good. I'm happy to be here. Crushing it on Poshmark. Crushing it. Awesome. Crushing it. We're glad to have you here. Glad to be here. Like and you're here again as well. I'm here again. So Good to have you. Third, maybe? Third. Awesome. And what do you sell on? Uh, eBay and Poshmark. eBay and Poshmark. Yeah. So for the people out there who are saying, I can't make money on eBay or Poshmark, what do, what do you say to them? List, list, list. <laughs> Keep listing every day. I didn't make any sales yesterday, 
and I listed even though I didn't make any sales. So yeah. hopefully. Really good. So show everybody what you just found right here. This is really cool. This is a uh, wartime, wartime edition book. And wartime edition. Yeah, wartime edition and it's it's selling for $93 right now on Amazon. 93 bucks. 9.92. But that will sell. It's just going to take a little time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, we got a big freaking turnout today. How many people there's Javier back there. He's camera shy. <laughs> you got to run. You got everybody. Yeah. Oh. Rally roots all day long. How are you guys feeling so far besides cold? Good. Oh, I'm so Man, we are going to murder these thrift stores. This is our thrift stop number two. What up? What's up, Zach? Wow, look at the turnout. You ready? It's cool. Yeah, ready to go? Let's go. So we got everybody going into Goodwill right now. Greg, did you update the group? I did. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure. The Connecticut thrifting meetup. Okay. Awesome. Appreciate it. Fortunately, though, I didn't want the ice. <laughs> oh, I hear ya. Was not looking forward to that. Javier, find something. <laughs> yeah, so we probably got like 25, 30 people so far. <laughs> Oh, you're Steve. Yeah. There we go. Got him on camera. Oh, he's swimming with me. Also, kiss him. Come on. Beautiful. That's cute. Yeah, it is. That's so cute. What's half? I'll get Brandon. <clears throat> no, that's nah, uh, those are infinities yeah. and twenty bucks. What do you think about that power shot? You looked it up. Let's see what I'm doing. It's about eighty bucks. Yeah. It's not bad. Open it up. Those are good. Oh, yeah. Wow. See all these Pezes? Hold on, Brandon Ooh. would know if they're vintage or not. 13 bucks? Those actually might okay, be good. I know, man. What do we got here, Zach? Some Columbias? Oh, are they 25? Um, yeah, this thrift store is like, they just opened this like a year ago, I think. Maybe a little longer than that, and the, the prices are just outrageous yeah. over here. I haven't been finding anything so far. Brandon found a cool little kids table. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It looked like a Pokemon. It was just a Ah, oh, babe, what do you got? What are we working with? I want to get it for my uncle. <laughs> the beer belt. The beer belt holster. It doesn't wow. do a six pack. I don't know if that's going to fit around his belly. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't see this video. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. I don't think it it's really not going to fit around. Have to go around Her uncle now. has the best beer belly ever. Oh, the best. <laughs> that's why he needs the so holster. <laughs> oh, you're right though. This is not going to fit. No way. <laughs> I thought this was so cute. I love it. Uh, let's see, what are we working with? Some Levi's. Oh, Ooh. Scanning on Amazon? Oh yeah, the prices of puzzles here are insane. What is the 15? price? $16, they're absolutely, no, that's Franklin's. I think that's the manufacturer, hold on. I think somebody ripped the price off of that, maybe. Mm. No, but look at some of the prices of this stuff. You'll, you'll be like, are you kidding me? Five bucks, used. Used. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even pay five cents for that. Yeah, here's not a new one. New puzzle too. Yeah, you'll find a lot of new puzzles here. Here, and the reason is because they're gonna price it so stupidly high. Ninety-nine cents. Okay, well that thing kind of beat up. Looks like though. someone yeah. stepped on it. <laughs> yeah, I had one of these when I was a kid, man. Wild Republic. What is that? I don't know. I just I had one of these when I was a kid. A little register. Yeah. Wow, look at those shoes on that rack. You see it right there? Oh yeah. Looks Super like something. Yeah. <laughs> I think you should get them. Wear them at dinner tonight. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got some Ralph Lauren corduroy hey, I think pants. Recently. See, something like this could sell for like 20, 25. My oh, battery's dying already, crap. 
So we're getting over to our third location. Where are we right now? I don't know. The outlet. <laughs> she goes, I don't know. Okay. The Goodwill Outlet. Well, I'll let you know. In Hamden. <laughs> this is the Goodwill Outlet. This is where it's way and pay. Yeah. And if you've never seen a hundred crazy people fighting over one item, no. you're gonna see it here. You have to so. Hide your camera. They don't yeah. Like I gotta put it down here. So we're here at the outlets right now. It's with all the way and pay books. There's toys. I can't really film in here because I'm gonna get kicked out. But uh. What are your impressions, man, on this place so far? This place, man, it's a free-for-all here. You it's can, crazy. You're not looking for power. Right? It is nutty. There's definitely a lot of stuff in here, but people are getting kicked out, so I can't really film much, but I'll see you at the next one. It's not as, like, Black Friday sale rush as I thought it would be. It's crazy. The craziness is going down. Oh. Damn, Greg, show everybody what do you got right here? Bring it down low, bring it down low. <laughs> true religions. Wow, true religions. What do you think that's gonna cost you? Maybe a dollar? Cost, it's gonna cost me about a dollar. I'll sell it that's, for like how much. They don't go for any more. That's oh, awesome. So we're just leaving, almost got kicked out multiple times. Multiple. What do you think about that? You were live for a while. I was live. You guys will probably see my video. It's two minutes long before the <laughs> <laughs> So I wanna know who so yeah, far, because we're, okay. we're gonna be doing giveaways at dinner. Who do you think has the best finds so far for the day? Oh, did you see what I found inside here for a quarter? No. Holy Are you trying to win a prize? Is that what you're trying yeah, to do? Yeah, man. That was $50. Uh, the uh, TI-89 Ooh. type, it's like 100 bucks. Can anybody beat that so far? No. Best find of the day, TI-89. <laughs> What's that worth, like 80 bucks nowadays on FBA? Yeah, when school comes around, it's almost 100. I'm restricted on Amazon for those, are you? Um, I might be. Yeah. <laughs> I might be. Uh, worst find of the day, restricted. You <laughs> all the time, right? So remember, at dinner time, we are giving away three $50 prizes. Best find of the day, most helpful, and then most inspiring person, so. Start to remember people's names because you're going to be getting papers to fill out. <laughs> Homework assignments. Please later. All right, we're going to Wallingford right now. All right. All right. Yeah, so it's definitely been a lot of fun so far. We've probably got like 30 people here and yeah, a lot of crazy finds. Jesse found a uh, TI-89, a lot of clothing scores. I know Greg found the uh, True Religion jeans, so. That's been crazy. What's your best find of the day so far? Uh, no, I did find this is pretty cool. I think this out of the bag here. We have Iraq number two. What? Iraq number two on VHS. I'm not sure what's on that, but I don't know. <laughs> we are gonna find out. And uh, right here we have Dustin, man. Man, you're looking great, man. How much weight are you down so far the last year? I just weighed myself last week. I'm at 202. Sometime last year I was like 210. Wow. Doing it, doing it. And uh, what did you find? Best find so far? Of the day or in here? In here. <laughs> I found a big grab bag of uh, Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Nice. So I don't know approximate value yet, but once I go through them, there could be some hidden treasure. Hey, might be. Awesome, awesome. Hey, what's your number? My number? So we're back on the road right now. We are heading to Wallingford. Connecticut right now to a Goodwill. It's a smaller Goodwill. It's not super small, but definitely some deals to be found over there. As you can see, it's pretty snowy here in Connecticut right now. It's cold. It's about well, it's 38 degrees. I know it's not focusing very well. It was actually like three degrees the other day, so it's much warmer. Yeah, we're heading over there, see what we find. Yep, so we're just getting over to the next Goodwill right now. What are you gonna find? You looking for gold, silver? Maybe some gold. Gold? What about some Uggs? Who got you those Uggs? My baby. Oh, okay. So here we are. Getting here right now. There he is. Yeah. What are you guys doing here? Alright, let's go. <laughs> what up, dude? Poking around the little electronic area. Anything over here? Nah, not really. I'm see that. Just a little bag. <laughs> Ooh. I have so many goddamn. It's a really good brand, actually. I know it's nice. I know you have a lot, but I mean, four bucks, you could. You want to show people the toy section? Show them if there's anything. Like. Yeah, show show <laughs> us. Right this way. Yeah, Brandon's like a little toy expert. You focus what on like a lot of vintage toys and stuff? Uh, vintage and like new and packaged, newer stuff too. 
and a little oh, Pokemon poster. <laughs> so is mostly anything Pokemon worth good money or? I wouldn't say anything, but a majority. It's, it's always had a huge it, following. That's the problem him and Charles have. They, they, keep, they keep coming up with bad ideas. Tim, what are you looking up here? Sucker shin guards. That's a hard pass, Tim. We have boxes in the That's a score, bro. That's a score. <laughs> you, you have what? Boxes in the Yeah, yeah. Anything over here for toys? What about this little lifeguard truck? Don't worry about it. This monster truck? No, this lifeguard. Oh, lifeguard truck. I have no idea. Uh, it's a no name. Oh, wow. This is so a little sturdy. Something in it? We got profit. Find the passion. Go with the passion. You might. She's right. There's a person who's not dealing with Oh, that's funny. Shut. It's stuck in there. It's too big. It's a little Pokemon coin. Oh. <laughs> I remember those things. Yep. Yeah, there's not too much as far as toys go. Uh, what is this? Creations of the Choir she's doing? Yeah. What are we looking at, Jesse? Skyboard. I don't know what it is, but you'll make 20 bucks on it. it looks pretty good condition. Oh, yeah. Hey, like bounce on it, yeah. Oh, jeez. Uh oh, watch out, everybody. We got Thrift School. There we go. Cool. Yeah. No, that's worth fifty dollars to see who can do that. Yeah. Well, it's, it's worth forty-eight. I, mean, it was I thought that was Steve Jobs, no, but it's not. Oh, it looked like it, right? Close. I don't know who that is. So, what are your thoughts, Tim, on like brand new board games? You scan them all? Of course. So much money in board games. People pass them up. What do we got here? Nothing. I heard you freaking out. No, I'm just talking to my girlfriend on Facebook. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was uh, I was freaking out because she sent me twenty dollars. Yeah. Yeah, she sent me twenty dollars to have a time. Good time. Oh really? She's just like, that's yeah. a cool girlfriend right there. Exactly. The Dave and Buster's ball. Oh, that's where we're going tonight. Ooh. Oh, you got game. What? What? Yeah, thank you. Oh look at this thing. Is this new? No, I thought it was. These puzz, these puzz three Ds do extremely well if they're new sealed. What about that sock monkey kit, Brandon? Yeah. Did you see the Pokemon game? <laughs> this is cool. Savers for seventy-five dollars. No, I didn't. Pokemon trainers game. And it said, and it said it's not complete. Pieces, yeah. <laughs> this is cool. KB Toys stickers. Tyco. When's this from? Nineties. Ninety-two. That's my guess. Let's hmm. See. Somebody got a. Hey, look at that. Well, let me 92. get a. Let me get my app out. Let me scan that thing. Let's see what this thing is all about. My guess is probably fifteen bucks. Uh, I have to scan the cover since the barcode didn't work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, let me try it again. Yeah, Come sometimes on. it doesn't work like the cover, but... I mean, you could... Uh, we'll anyways. Say, we'll it in. Yeah, so many things. Board games. Definitely don't neglect the board game section. So much money to be made here, especially new sealed stuff. Brandon's going to be looking it up. Let me go over here and say hello to this young lady. What are we looking for? Anything that sells. <laughs> so what's the deal with this? Is this a certain type of glass? Um, you want to look for it. You have to feel it. Yeah. You have to feel the weight of it. So heavier the better, I'm yeah. assuming. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to feel of it. Oh, okay. You have to take a hard look at it. Like, is this for like candies and stuff? Yeah. This probably isn't out because it looks like I only sell stuff online that's pristine. Yeah. There's no... eBay. Yeah. eBay all the way. I don't do... I tried Amazon. It didn't work. It just didn't work. So you just... It's... My mother taught me. My mother owned a consignment shop, so I really, it's hard for me to explain to you and like... So it's more of like a feel mm -hmm. and it's way. not really like a, because like I'm traditionally used to going after like shoes and clothing and I'm looking all, yeah. like brands very important. So yeah. brands kind of secondary it seems like yeah. to quality and stuff. You also want to look like the older pieces of glass were whimsical, meaning they were like, you could tell the care that somebody hand painted it, either... Or, or somebody carved it out, like you can tell. Yeah. It's not something that's like, okay, mass produced. Like yeah, let's, something let's find like, something. Like this. This is mass produced. Okay, and it kind of just looks cheap yeah. as well. Yeah, and like something like this. This is mass produced, even though back in the day, like, this was sort of an expensive piece. Yeah. Yeah. But like, it's not, and it's also the patterns, like, this is very old. Mm. That's old. 
How do you look up the sold listings on these things, though? Like, is it more or less you're just going based on your gut? I go on my gut. Um, I also know people that own shops in Jersey, so they're willing to me throw me a little something, something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you cool. want to hear that. So, um, you go, you got to go on gut. I go on gut. Okay, cool. So, so it comes with experience, essentially. Yeah. And my, what my mom taught me. Okay. You know, when she owned her shop. Seemed like you had a really cool mom teaching you a lot of awesome she stuff. She did. She taught me a lot of stuff. It was an orange oh, yeah. cooler, but... Yeah. yeah, what is this right here? This is a Panasonic, Panasonic Auto Stop yeah. pencil sharpener. Pencil sharpener. Yeah. Man, these things right here, these can go for really good money. I actually have one that's um, it's like aqua colored. Yeah, it's the, really the, the old. Different colors. Yeah. yeah. We'll so try. is there is there a specific? What are you, what are you thinking about? Oh, I thought that was chipping. No, no, no the, the, all the feet. Yeah, so this is model because you can always find the model number. I know it's not yeah. focusing on the camera, but it's model um, KP eighty six A. So that's probably, I'm gonna guess and say it's probably worth like 40 maybe? I don't know what your thoughts are. 25. 25. Well, you're going on eBay. These are going more for on Amazon for sure. It's a little warm, but I have to try it too. Yeah. You, you know there's always like electrical outlets too. You could test them out here. It's been tested. Oh, it has been tested. Power only, it says. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, nice find. You trust it. <laughs> what do we got here, brother? Yeah, I need a pencil, uh, though. <laughs> Columbia extra, extra large. What do they say about the bigger clothing? The bigger clothing always sells faster yep. and for more money. It always does. So, I, yeah, I always go for the double XLs, 3XLs, yeah. 4XLs. You ever come across like the 5 or 6XLs for I've, Ralph Lauren? The biggest I've got was a 4XL. Dude. I got a couple 4XLs right yeah. now for Ralph Lauren. I got there are some brands that go up to like 7 or 8X, yeah. but they're like no-name brands. They're like parachutes. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Cool, man. Cool. Yeah. What do we got? Anything good? Uh, Pikachu? Yeah. Eh, looking it up because Let's Go Pikachu is coming out. So. Oh, that looks really cool. Let me, Pokemon will probably. Let me invade your privacy and see what's going on here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you always you love when I invade your privacy. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah, that's why he keeps coming back to these meetups. He's like, man, every time I come, Steve just invades my privacy. There's so many cameras everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> look at this Pikachu. He's having such a freaking good time. So I'm trying That's to look nice. for a brand or something on it to kind of figure out. To be able to look it up somehow, yeah. right? So this is of five bucks. Did you talk to Brandon? He's usually good with stuff like that. Cool, let's go find more people. Good luck with that, guys. Oh, man. The glass warrior queen. Looking for people to bother. Look for Griswold, um, what are they called? Griswold pans, you can find them at like estate sales and stuff. They'll go like 100, 150 bucks. It's uh, what, cast iron, yeah, cast iron. Those things are worth a really good money. Yeah. Just scan it. Coming over to the book selling, scanning section. What do we have, what do we have going on here? Found one so far, I'm just gonna keep looking. Yeah? I don't know what's picked over, what has it. I'm looking for textbooks first. That's the tough thing about books, bookstores like this yeah. at Goodwill. Like, some Goodwills like only have a small book section. It's kind of a good thing because you kind of know where to look here. Like, look how many books there are. There's like thousands. I I so know. what I would do when I come to a place like this, mm -hmm. it depends my strategy. If I'm like gonna scan everything or I'm gonna snipe, right? I would look for the textbooks. I would go I after. The, usually the it. textbooks are at the bottom line. Yeah, up. I found a few, but they weren't. You know, nothing good. But I found one book. Yeah, the problem is that some of these places, they just they never. Um, Recycle out all the old inventory, so they'll just keep keeping like they'll be the same old textbooks that are like 10 million rank, and they'll just they'll never get plucked out yeah. and sent to like the Goodwill outlets or anything. So it's like you'll see all these textbooks, and you're gonna be like, "Wow, I'm gonna hit the jackpot!" Right, and then it's just right. like crap, 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 crap. Yeah. But yeah, you just gotta keep scanning and look for the weird, obscure, unique books. The ones, the books that are so weird, those are the ones that always make the most money. Mm -hmm. The weird, weird books. And it's hard to tell because sometimes, um, you know, one weird book, but the, another book on the same subject will be worth nothing. It's yeah. just so random. No, I hear you. So what's this one? Do you want to scan this one? For yeah. The so this one came up on Scout IQ. Now I have put three ninety nine. Wow! Look at the rank it's actually, on that. It's actually two ninety nine. With Amazon. 
Amazon to see. So the rank is good, 200,000 mm -hmm. solid. New is up at 101, which is good. Mm -hmm. Red flag there, you're starting to see the new offers come in at 29.62. So you always gotta keep your price relative to the new prices. So, so this one is saying 22.45. But let's take a look at used. So used, so here's one of those books where it's like, okay, the lowest FBA is 22.45, that's good. But you see the merchants, they're down there at 5.59 and there's 50. 50 merchants starting at 559. Mm -hmm. So it's like, could you get 2245? Absolutely, FBA, but there's so many merchants that sometimes it drags yeah, the I've FBA seen some price videos down. And some people will say, oh, forget all the merchants, just if it's FBA. Yeah. yeah, I know, but you have to consider them a little bit, though. Like, if there's a million merchants. So you wouldn't get this book? How much is the book? $299. Um, right now, since it's kind of textbook season, I, I probably would get it. Even though textbook season's kind of fading out, it's I'd probably get it and send it, it in quick. I think you yeah, could get I'll send it. Yeah, I'll it in tomorrow. But if it was like March, I don't know, the rank is decent. But at three bucks, it starts getting a little pricey for like yeah. $20, yeah. especially when it's kind of heavy. So the fees are going to be pretty heavy. Um, but it's not bad. I mean, if you're a big right. bookseller, I would do it. But if you're like Mama Profits, Mama Profits would probably go for this. Um, I would probably pass on it just because I'm looking for like a higher ROI, just because I'm juggling so many things obviously but you're getting higher higher all right i'm not at that yeah but i'm doing a lot of e-flip as well yeah so yeah because i just don't have the time to go to the thrift stores lately so i'm just sourcing like i'd rather i think that's awesome if i had the capital to do e -flip, well that's it once you get that. the capital then you can start making different moves to kind of save time i but, was meaning to ask you too like so you never wanted to get into bulk Gaylords and that whole thing. I know I've saw, I from your site I saw the Greg Murphy site and I saw yeah. this video of his whole thing. I, I mean, don't know if I want to go that way. I, but. It's not really for me, but mm -hmm. you know, when you have a YouTube channel with like a hundred thousand subscribers, like you want to bring different opportunities to your audience. Yes. So like I'll talk about bulk, I'll talk about wholesale, private label. Doesn't mean I'm doing them all. Yeah. You know, I do what I do, right? But I bring different and you opportunities. Don't do private label or anything yeah, like that. no, not right now. But you know. You gotta it's choose, risky. yeah, you gotta pick and choose. It's just, you gotta pick and choose what's right for you. Obviously you, you know? do what you're doing. Yeah, it's fun, you know? So you right now I'm focusing so more on like eBay and just like e-flip on Amazon. Yes. And you mm -hmm. know, I do some RA, RA and stuff and Shopify mm -hmm. stuff, but yeah. keep looking. I'm still starting. So yeah, this is these the, this is how I'm gonna learn is by yeah. looking book by book. I'm so If you have any more books, to, yeah, we'll just run through it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's how you learn. Yeah. I appreciate you. Thank you, Steve, you're the best. What do we got going on here? So I found this one. Ooh, post exam. Three bucks. So right now I could already tell you it looks interesting. I'm scan it. So I'll make 10 bucks on it. Nice. It's a good e-score, 137. So I'm gonna show the people on yep. the Amazon seller app people as well. Let's see. So the rank is spectacular at 71,000. New eh, Amazon's at 23, used. Lowest merchants twenty two. Yeah, would, lowest would, FBA is thirty nine. Uh, yeah, you probably come in at like twenty one or twenty two yeah, bucks. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice yeah. find right there. One one of the things I do is if I don't have a lot of time in the store, is I look for the. Ooh, it was just Martin Luther King Day. Yeah, I know. Let's see if I find one. I found one here. You look for the the use. Yep, because you can tell it's, it's like, like a college. college. Yeah, it's a college. So book. I'll go in. I'll just look for those he's quickly. He's a beast, but he's, so. had, he's going so fast. Yeah, it's it's like too slow. <laughs> you have to go through. It's volume. It's, it's quickly. Let the book business, you know. Let's see what else he has here. What's this one going for? A lot of them are like two dollar, three dollar books. Okay, like three dollar uh, profits. Yeah. So let's see. Yeah. So he's using Scout so, IQ, which is a definitely an awesome app. So this one I would make eight bucks. You set up triggers and stuff, or are you just looking yeah, at I, the? Yeah, I, um, I actually took the guy, uh, Jim Pickens course, and he has his triggers yeah. to set up. Yeah. So I just put his triggers in, and it seems to be working good. So I always recommend that course to people. I tell you, if you're going to yeah. start selling books, that that course is literally the best. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, one on one yeah. is excellent. Yeah, I'm saving up for that. Yeah. Reganproffit.com slash bookselling yeah, one on one. Go get I, that. I went to your site and people don't get it. Like I'm not just saying it because I'm right. an affiliate. Like that course is 97 no. bucks. Like he could easily sell that course for like 500 dollars, but yeah. it's yeah. pretty much. It's, the best um, one. Found some other ones. Another good section is religion section, but this for some reason this was. You know what's funny? People pass up the religion section all the time. There's money to be made in there. So I wouldn't sell. I wouldn't sell religion. For, uh, I definitely, I have it right now. It's coming in saying sixty-three dollars, but that's not correct. It would be to use by his box. So I'd make seven, seven, eight bucks. What's the rank on that? 
Um, 807. Oh, so that's, that's and solid. The average is 625. So oh, yeah. saying the East Coast is 25. So nice. It's, it's selling. Hey, well, keep up the good work. Yeah, 10 each. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. So what if I can get 25, 30 bucks for a lot of it. Yep. Okay. That's what I was thinking. You guys lighting up those three items? That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Are you lighting up those three shirts? Probably. What are they? Yeah. They're all graphic. One's Mario. Graphic P. Popeye. Oh, yeah. Popeye and then a generic whatever it is. Nice. <laughs> That's an old video game, too. I forget which one. And then this, I have three of these at home already, so I'll throw this in with the mix. And... What keywords would you use for those t-shirts? Oh, my God. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I don't do clothes that much. Yeah. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be limited to clothes, but you can put... Just because of the Mario, yeah, you could put retro, you could put... Video games, gamer, gaming, anything like that will bring a lot of right, just attention, attention to, it, to it, for sure. Nice. Yeah, we'll keep us posted. Will do. <laughs> so we're here in Sabres right now with the boys. And Zach, what did you find, man? Oh, this might man, be the find of the day because he had yeah. the find of the day until... I'm searching the shelves. I see a TI-83 Plus with the back, perfect condition. What? Take it off the shelf right behind it. Oh my god. Now I want to ask I want to ask Jesse a question. Did yeah. you see this happen? No. What were your thoughts when you realized that he had the calculators? Well, I said there goes my final. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about you? So Is that another calculator in there? She yeah. had calculators. Hold on one I, second. I, I was looking at the calculators. He was behind me. I must have passed over it, and I got this at least. But, oh my, uh, hold on, which one is this? This is, um, oh, this is the 30. I don't know, yeah, do I those do that well on there. Amazon? Yeah. What, like 20 something? Yeah. yeah. You know, oh, and you got some ink. Yes, got that. Putting then, this back, because oh. I just saw it was $30. They want $30 for it. No That's way. Yeah. Crazy. yeah. Maybe they have it's some. It's going for 40 This might be new, the find of the day down here. Oh. <laughs> are these velvet? They're Louis Vuitton. They're velvet. Oh my. Are they really? No. No. I was going to say. No. I, was gonna... I was like, I passed by those. Yeah. No. Nah. Well, that's that cool. cool. Yeah. And uh, what do you got there, Martin? Got this Carhartt. That's a thick defender. quality. Yeah. I know, right? Only four bucks. You can't complain on the price right there. And it's crazy when people say like, oh, I can't find anything at the thrift store. Like, you just gotta dig. Dude, we have like 20 resellers here and we're still finding stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Literally everybody has something everybody has besides something. me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you could even find something if you looked for five minutes. I found a battery to put in my G7X. <laughs> I left my battery for my camera in the car and I'm like, Jess, we have the same exact camera. I'm like, can I borrow your battery? I'm empty. <laughs> <laughs> Actually running low on battery. So I think we're gonna head over to Manchester now. Um, start gathering people up to the checkout. Yeah. Are you guys yeah. good? Yeah, I'm good. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for letting me borrow the battery. Look who showed up to the Connecticut thrifting meetup. Hi, everyone. Look at that cute hair. <laughs> what have you been up to all day? I've been e-flipping. E-flipping. Yeah. Nice, cool. Well, good to have you here. Let me get some stuff out of the car. Yeah, so we've got a, uh, a woman here who is new to books. So I'm sure she'll be asking you some questions. He's doing well so far. Okay. We're here at Savers right now. Do you mind holding this for one second? Cool. I'm going to get some gum. Yeah. But uh, thank you. We're over here right now, and we're going to go find some stuff. So if you want to come over and say hi to... Oh, <laughs> Usually yeah. run into what UPS. Yes. Oh, well, yeah, UPS are yeah. here. Yeah. How you been? Good. 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 Hi. How are you? Hi. I always see you. I know. <laughs> you guys always run into each other. Yeah. When I come out here, yeah. Yeah. Just so we've got a good turnout so far. What do you think? 30, 25, 30? At the prime, probably 25. I'm sure there'll be more at dinner. Yeah, Maggie McFly's just called. They're giving us our own private room. Really? Up to 40 oh, people. Awesome. Great. Yeah, so. Wow. I couldn't believe how many tables you said. <laughs> I didn't mean to say tables. Because you said. He said tables. I didn't mean to say tables. I meant to say seats. Oh, man. This is, this is, uh, this is Zach. This is my mother. This is Brandon's brother. He's doing, um, the photography and stuff. Great. For us. Tag on yeah, yeah. Are you What's your best find or? so far of the day? Is there anything that stands out? Like no, 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 nothing no. like that crazy oh, Nike you sold. No. Oh, that, that was an insane yeah, squad. Yeah, who yeah, yeah. is there? Anyone here who's like inspiring you or motivating you? Maybe someone who's new or someone who's just hustling just, like crazy. Just to drive seven and a half hours from Buffalo. Those two guys. Oh yeah. Well, they're new at reselling too. So Nineteen wanted, years old. Yeah, yeah. They just wanted to take it all in, and, and I don't blame them too. They, they'll get it. Yeah. The money's worth. 
Tim, who do you think is the best find of the day so far that you've seen? Uh, the the one they came from Buffalo. Yeah. Wow, those guys are dominant. The two yeah. the two uh, calculators. Yeah, yeah, the two yeah. calculators, TI eighty three and a TI eighty four uh, silver, I think. There was a guy. Um, I forgot what his name is. There's so many people here, but he found a uh, an old book. It was a nine hundred thousand rank, but it was selling for ninety three dollars really? on Amazon. Wow. So. It was a book that I would never scan either, which is interesting. What store? Um, Savers Maryland. No, 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 no. He found that book at Savers and Orange at the oh. first one. Nice. Yeah, it was you. Yeah, it was me. What's your name again? Paul. Sorry, there's so many people. I keep forgetting, but we were talking about Paul's book, the the one that was selling for 93 on Amazon. Tell my, this is my mom. Hi. All right. Nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. Um, tell her about that book that you found. Uh, American Woman's Cookbook, 1942. Really? It looked like a stupid cool. book too. Like it didn't look like I would never have scanned it, but it had War Edition on it, which I didn't know. It came from World War II era. Oh, really? What condition would you? Say? <laughs> it, didn't have, like, it didn't have a cover. But. Yeah. Okay. I don't have anything to scan it with. I just looked at it and thought it was something. Looked it up on eBay. Yeah. He looked it up on Amazon. Great. <clears throat> yeah. So. <laughs> That was a good yeah. find. Yeah. It's crazy. Just books no, or? I do just vintage stuff, old stuff, whatever oh. catches my eye, really. And you're from New York, right? New York. Yeah, he's from New York. Yeah, and you do eBay, eBay yeah. Amazon, no, and all? No, I haven't done anything. So, how do you feel, man, behind the scenes doing the oh, photography over here? Pretty good. People are getting some cool stuff. Yeah. yeah. Texas Instrument calculators? I had no idea. Yeah. Got one of those at home. Yeah. Sell it now. I've never seen a thrift store with so many of those. Calculators, right? We're yeah. Not doing math these days. Do you find yourself, I know you're here just doing a photography, but do you find yourself ever maybe getting into like doing a little thrifting for some side cash? Your brother? It's so, I mean, it would be cool to learn about, I guess, you know, see what people are getting rid of, but it's so like intimidating walking down the aisle yeah. and seeing just like having no idea. I know. All different brands. Yeah. You gotta find your niche, I guess, right? Cool. Well, appreciate you so far yeah. and um, great to be here. We'll put your information down below in the video as well because you do photography, videography, right? Yeah. Do you anything. have a website or anything people I do can? I have a website, zachcarroll.com. Okay. C A C K C A R R O. Okay. So I'll link that up. So if anyone's interested in any, um, if you see some pictures from this event or yeah. anything, I'll yeah. Anything. Cool. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so we're just going into Savers right now. This is our, oh, I think our fifth store so far. And uh, hopefully you're enjoying this kind of unedited, behind the scenes, Connecticut thrifting meetup. You know, uh, it's probably a YouTube premiere right now, so it looks like it's live, but it's not. But I just kind of want to show you some behind the scenes stuff. And it's just crazy. People are finding all types of stuff, board games, electronics, books. It's just crazy. Isn't it crazy to know, like, people come into the thrift store and they buy so many weird things that you would never look up. It's crazy. You know what I mean? Like, Absolutely. Everybody's got their own niche. It's crazy. So it's like, if you're ever getting discouraged and you're like, oh, I can't find any deals, like, think outside the box. Like, when you go into a thrift store, look around. There's so many different just sections and... Start with what you know and what you like. Exactly. Like Jerry right here. Started with clothes and now he found his niche in shoes and he's a freaking stone cold stone cold killer. Stone cold. Stone cold. I think we should just because it's so cold. Yeah. What? Yeah, it's getting towards the end of the day. I'm trying to break my rules. Yeah, Time for rule breaking. <laughs> Because they were also expensive from a scanner. Yeah. They are so expensive. I'm like, you know what? For 27 bucks. Hey, mom. Break. I want you guys to meet. Is this Paula? Yeah. I'm so excited to meet you. I'm Roxanne. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm Kathy. I just have to tell you, I just think your son is awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much for him. And I was so inspired when you talked about you and how you have to start the book business yeah. and how well you're doing. Yeah. Oh, I'm just so glad to meet you because oh, I really need to learn everything you know. Oh, thank you. She's using Scout IQ though, so like I keep using the Amazon Seller app because right. right. I I've used I Scout IQ, but it kind of confuses me sometimes because yeah. you got to set up triggers I would and love stuff. To learn how because with the app, it's, you have to be a little bit more like knowledgeable because it, it, it doesn't give you an e-score, so you have to see the rank. Right. Um, but it won't tell you how many books it's 
sells, how often they sell. How you doing? So I'm curious how, because he says we're doing <laughs> Can I follow you a little bit and see how to do the <laughs> Show her, show her a little bit. Show her a little bit. She's a little shy. You gotta push her. I give you permission. I'm not shy at all. Yeah, we're going because it's so cold. Everyone was freezing. All right. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna let you ladies go do your thing. Yeah. <laughs> you can only borrow her for an hour. Okay. So. Yes. How you feeling? Good. Yeah. <laughs> So this girl right here, she's getting her wholesale business going. Oh, it's crazy. Stop. You started with RA. Stop. Now you're, you're now, now she's doing wholesale. Stop. All right, let's see what else we got going on here in Savers. Actually, I want to see what Mama Profit. I know, I know there was some things going on with books. You guys find anything? Uh, no, we actually just got here. Oh. <laughs> Martin comes to Connecticut, just destroys everything. Hey Jesse, you can't vlog Jesse when I'm vlogging. Hey, here in Savers right now, we're in Savers right now. I just bought a bop it. I paid uh, 50 cents for it. <laughs> Not a bad price. So we got a few people in. You gonna give that to your girlfriend for a birthday gift? Hey, say hi. <laughs> hey, is that? Hey, what's going on, dude? Holy crap! I'm like, what's Paul doing? Honey? <laughs> yeah, man, we're here for the Connecticut thrifting meetup. It's hard to hear yeah, you. It's hard to hear. It's hard to hear you. Are you ready for tomorrow? Oh yes, I am. What are we doing? Um, a video together? I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm super pumped up, man. We're gonna be uh, talking about Amazon drop shipping oh, tomorrow, cool. so I'm like super excited to talk about it and yeah. learn about it. So. Yeah, I told them we had plans and that must be yeah. what you're busy for, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll definitely be watching that. Hey, as well. Paul, appreciate you, brother. Much love. Yeah. See ya. Thanks for having us out again. Bye. Hey. Hi. How you doing? Good. Oh, good. So we have Jana Lise, the number one rake and profit supporter. Fan supporter. Hot babes. Well, that should be my YouTube. Friend. Yeah. What's that? Um, David Hassel. Uh, what's what's that TV show with the lifeguards? David Hasselhoff. Uh, Baywatch. I felt yeah. like yeah. I felt like when you came in that it was like. Oh my God. Hair was moving in slow mo. <laughs> So it's so funny right now. She, my mom's doing some book training. Here's I some know, behind I, the scenes I, book training. I see. I saw. I heard her voice. Yeah. yeah exactly. I'm gonna leave them alone right now. They're in a very intimate conversation. <laughs> Hey, what's up? You just getting here? Yeah, I just got here. Okay, cool. Dude, didn't you find this at a Goodwill? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah I remember yeah. that. That yeah. was like a year or two ago, wasn't it? I think it's like it's one a of your while second, ago. Yeah, it was like one of your second meetups. Can't believe I remember that. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Don't mind it. I'll put it down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Found it at a, a Goodwill. Yeah, I remember that. They go for like 50 bucks. Oh yeah, absolutely. And does that have the uh, embroidery yeah. on the yeah. back? Ooh, take it off! Oh, that is so sick. That's 50 bucks. Oh, that could be more than $50. Where's Tim? Damn, Tim. Hold on, we gotta find Tim. Tim would love that. Fun. Keep that off for a second. I wanna show Tim, Tim something really quick. Hey, Tim. He's got a he's got a Harley Davidson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Last time we, we met, we talked about his bike. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Let's go ask him how much he thinks the value of that shirt is. How much? All right. Let me ask oh. you a question. How much do you think this shirt is worth? Turn around. Hmm. Well, one thing I do know is it would go really well with this. Whoa! Oh, what is thing. going how on? Much, though, how much do they want? Sixteen dollars. Oh, that's crazy. I, I don't that's crazy know. Crazy The value of that. Probably, what, I like paid 20 bucks for this. Oh, I'd say 30. I saw it. Tim. Oh, there you no. go. <laughs> Tim, but I need you to tell me how much is this shirt worth that he has on right now? Yeah. I, re resale or at the. Yeah, resale on eBay. Resale or at the. 
40, 50 bucks. Oh. I'd say 40 bucks. Wow. What do you think, Janelise? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'd rather have, well, I'd rather have I don't a bike. <laughs> I love that answer. <laughs> I'd rather oh, have man. a bike with it, but. Yeah. Hey, that's nice, though. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, you found one of the boppet things? Yeah, I found a boppet and I got myself a raw floor and rugby for five bucks. Oh, cool. Ooh, is that wool? Yeah. Oh, look at me. the leather buttons and yeah, everything. That thing's probably worth oh, probably a good like 30, 30 bucks. 35 bucks all yeah, day long. Wear it. That's nice. <laughs> Except I don't know what that is, but. I think it's just dust from the floor. You think? Yeah. By the how way, about, dude. How about the value of that one? What do you think? Do you think it's worth 16 bucks? I, there's not a lot of logo. What? Yeah. yeah. That's why it's the only thing. Oh wow! Look at this dude. Yeah, this is a Burton jacket. Oh, really? That's pretty nice actually. Look at that. Thirty bucks isn't bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah, I like the it shoulder. Looks patch. a little different though, because usually Burton's like really snowboarding, you know? Yeah. Is that women's? Who can I ask about this? Um, yeah. I would imagine. Let's. We gotta go find Greg right now. Well, this is a Burton jacket, but it's a little different. I mean, it's 30 bucks. It's a little pricey, but I didn't know what your thoughts were with the, with the fur. We're going to find Greg. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Wanted to know what your thoughts were. Excuse me. This is a Burton jacket. This is, I don't think it's really worth that much. It might be, but I thought it was cool. I like it. I wouldn't pay ever. I would ever. I would never pay thirty bucks for it. But I was just curious what That's you think illegal. the value of something like this is with like the fur. I've never seen Burton with something like that. Yeah, under a hundred anyways. Probably under under sixty. Yeah. Really? Especially yeah, this time of year. Everyone's getting out of the winter. Yeah. Mindset. So for thirty bucks, no way. No. Peace. Hey, look, they're in trouble. So. So I just came across something. I don't know if it's worth money, but this is the type of stuff like just experience brings you. Like this is an LL Bean Freeport, Maine <laughs> Baxter State Parka. It just looks old. It's not that exciting or anything, but ah, it's 16 bucks. The pricing's so high over here, but I'm just curious. I could be wrong. LL Bean Freeport, Maine. Yeah, but you got to look up this Baxter State Parka. So this is 16 bucks. I'm gonna say right now at the price point, it's a no. But it could be worth 60 or 70. It has this interesting little material. It's just different. Old LL Bean stuff like this sometimes does well. I'm not telling you it's going to, but sometimes it does. Baxter State Park seems interesting. So let's see. Uh, mm, it's a raincoat. Yeah, but that looks similar at 30 bucks. Yeah, so let's look at. What did you type in for keywords? Uh, LL Bean, Freeport, Maine, Baxter State oh, okay. Park. I'll do jacket, see what happens. Yeah, maybe it's only worth around 30, but sometimes sometimes those things could be 60 plus. This one. Is that it? Check this out. Uh, this isn't sold, so I'll go to sold now. Yeah, it's at sold. Yeah, uh, 24, 18, nope, it's not a winner. 49 free shipping, but that was oh, all the way 49. Yeah, I mean, it's not enough at 16. If it was like five bucks yeah. or less, that's I would go for it. Oh, all these books. Did my mom find these things? No, he's like, this is Did you guys look at these things? Hey, what's going on, man? You see my mom here? Not really, not so far. Oh, okay. She's running around somewhere. Yeah. Let me check this thing out. You mind holding this for me and uh, see what we got here? You could uh, film it a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't seen much time. Get out of here, Jerry. Oh man, I'm just playing with you. This one's like 16 bucks, but you might want to work at this. It's, just, it's, it's not a ton of profit, but it is a fast seller. This is one that I picked up on Amazon, and I've been really happy with it because I've only had it for a couple of months. Oh, it's done. Find the book. Oh, here he goes. Here we go. Scan it. It's all you do. I mean, it doesn't take rocket science. They gotta do it. Here's what you have to do with the little glitches. Ah, I get it. It's got a couple of bucks. I'm oh, sorry, I ran your way. No problem. Ben. No Absolutely. And that's awesome. Like $89, $100. What do you got? Ooh, look at this thing. Wow. $63 on this thing right here. Wow. Wow. I don't have 
Here's another one. This is only 13. Uh, so, yeah, three buck profit. I'm new with books, so. I love how I like it. Yeah. So I'm looking for new. And then I'm learning like the reason why I don't make store charge. Yeah, yeah, Ben, you brought in a lot of people, so sorry, right? Hey, no problem. We're surrounding you right now, bro. Oh, what? Taking over. Oh, nice. They're taking our jobs. This is not scary. Yeah. Hey, can you sell CDs on uh, yeah. DVDs on Amazon? I am. As long as the retail price is under 35, oh, then it won't be restricted. But if the retail price was over 35, they'll restrict me. Retail, not what they're going for. Yeah. I used to always have that misconception because I was like, why am I able to sell a $6 DVD? Right. But it's because the retail price was under 35. I, I have the same thing. These actually might be worth it. So what do you think? All these PBS things might be worth money. Wow. This is good. Hit a little PBS jackpot. It is, but it is. You have to go. There's a lot of PBS. Unless you're Mark, who seems to get for every one book I found. But you have to. You just have to scan, scan. You just keep on. Pretty much. Scan your heart away. Let's have a scanning party. Whoa, what's this? Scan for the profit. That one's only going to come up. And then finding, finding sources that like I can... Yeah, a lot of these are good. They're like $5, 6 $7 profit on them. So, uh, I mean, I don't know. Like, scout up here, you need barcode or ISBN. But with the Amazon app, you can I'm looking for like these PBS ones seem to do really well, so I'm I've got a couple of them even used that are doing well, so I'm just scanning through them all. See, weird things like this always do well. I don't know if it's going to be worth anything, but. So, you have an Amazon With one heart, the Benedictine monks. Yeah, sometimes you scan it and it just won't scan. I'm going to check on this in a minute. When you plan to leave and stumble upon potential gold, is that yeah. what's going on? Well, pretty much. I mean, this one right here is going for 29 bucks. It's got uh, about $18 profit here on this one. I still have to check to make sure that the CDs and stuff are in it. Um, that's the same one. It's another $18 profit. It's like seven or eight. This is going for like 70 bucks right here. This one's going for like 14 Sweet. Thanks, Ben. No problem. Have a good one. Hey, appreciate you. What's going on, everybody? Steve here, Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com. Coming back to you with another video from the Connecticut Thrifting Meetup. And uh, I am here with Martin with Thrift Store Gold. Yeah, what's up, guys? It's Martin from Thrift Store Gold. Just started doing the reselling and eBay and Yeah, you're YouTube. what, 19 years old or? Yeah, I just turned 21 actually. Oh, okay, your yeah. buddy, your buddy. Yeah, yeah, my buddy's 19. Yeah, he came with his friend Zach who's 19. And it's crazy because he's 21, his friend is 19. Yeah. And uh, you know, most guys who are like 18, 19, 20, 21, they're working traditional jobs or going to college. Yeah. And you've actually been selling what, on eBay now? Yeah, I actually um, quit my job about two months ago and started doing eBay and YouTube full time. Wow. And 
It's been uh, pretty rough in the beginning because I didn't, I jumped in without doing any research. I just saw, wow, reselling, you can make money and be happy, so let me try that. And but that's a big thing. Like a lot yeah. of people look at that as a mistake, like, oh, I just jumped in. But I feel like most people on the other side of the spectrum, whereas like they're over preparing, they're watching videos, mm -hmm. like, oh, the stars have to align, everything has to be perfect, I need my printer, I need this. And you kind of did the opposite. It was just yeah. like, I see other people doing it. If they're doing it, why can't I do it? And you yeah. just jump right into it? Yeah, I mean, I didn't have any packaging, no bubble wrap, no printer, no nothing. And I just started listing on eBay. And I mean, I wasn't making any sales. I was at like 30 listings and I sold my first thing and I got super excited. And then after that, I didn't, I wasn't selling anything for weeks. And then I actually got a tip from someone in your comments saying, get to 100 listings, then you'll get wow. consistent sales. So. Since then, I grinded the next like three days and got to 100 listings. And actually, since then, I've been making consistent sales. And I bet you now, now that you're getting your listings up, yep. now you're probably focusing on finding higher quality items yep. because you yeah. probably learned that, okay, now my listings are up, my sales are up, but now sales will probably start dipping because your hot stuff sells and then the yeah. cold stuff doesn't move, right? Yeah, I, my first time thrifting, actually, I went out and bought about 30 mugs for 25 <laughs> cents each because of Gary V mug life, <laughs> thinking they were all gonna sell and yeah. I still got them all. Yeah. But I got some great tips from people actually with bundling or auctions and yeah. stuff. So I've been taking notes this whole time and super excited to get home and kind of just re-edit my store kind of with all the information I've got. So what advice would you give to the people who are watching right now and maybe they're just getting started because you're only two months in right yeah. now. Um, what advice would you give to the people who are having a hard time getting started, they're struggling, they don't know if it's for them? Watch his videos and watch my videos. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, get your foot in the door and don't buy everything but buy what you think will sell because i mean realistically at the end of the day you kind of want to sell what you want to sell so i don't want to go out and buy a bunch of we'll say like roller blades because i don't barbie dolls blades. yeah bar barbie dolls i don't sell barbie but dolls. you're still checking the sold listings still right? checking those you're out not, yeah. so you're not saying buy what you're passionate about buy what no. you're passionate about but also check the sold list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy what you're passionate about, that sells. So yeah. for me, like I'm really, like I said, I was really into Marvel. So some collectible Marvel stuff will sell, but yeah. not everything Marvel sells. That's cool, that's yeah. cool. So what are your goals kind of moving forward? What what are you doing in sales right now after two months? Um, Actually, we just hit um, 600 on our eBay store. So wow. I mean, with fees and all that, it's a lot less than that. But um, I mean, my so is that the last goal? 30 days or yeah, over two last, months so far? Last 90 days was we okay. got to 600. Okay. And then um, I say we as because it's me and my girlfriend yeah. doing it. Yeah. yeah, you guys are hustling hard. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, so but my main goal is to just kind of get big on YouTube and show people that like reselling thrift store is very easy. And like, I mean, I started with no money really. So you went from no money up to 600 I went sales. from in debt. I'm, oh, okay. I'm still a little in debt actually. Okay. But I'm working to get out of debt through this and so, just be happy. Okay, so you want to have your freedom. Yep. You want to be happy. Yep. You kind of want to call your own shots instead of clocking and clocking be out. My own boss, How much yeah. money do you think you need to make like over a 30 day period? Like what would your goal be in 30 days to get to maybe, let's just say we're having another yeah. conversation in January of 2020, a year yeah. from now. What do you what do you realistically think you get your sales to? I mean, I'd like to be 10,000 a month. Ooh, that's but, a I big mean, that's goal. A big that's goal, a big goal. But I plan on just doing everything I can and even starting Amazon, I do have my listing, uh, yeah. my free seller account and then making money off YouTube as well. The key is stay focused though. Like, yeah. as I see like, I see, you know, this is Martin right here from Thrift Store Gold and I see the same drive that I had when I first got started. And one of the biggest mistakes that I made is I fell victim to the shiny object syndrome. So yeah. before I ever like got good at something, I would jump to the next thing and then the next thing and then the next yeah. thing. What I could say to you, like as someone who's 21, you're younger, you're coming up, focus on one or two things and really put your all into it because eBay works, Amazon works. Like you could even dive into eBay, like toys works, clothing works, shoes works. It's just a matter of, are you gonna work it or not? Are you gonna give up too soon? So like. I would document your whole journey on YouTube, but yeah. I would get good at eBay before even jumping to Amazon, or I would mm -hmm. just make a decision. You're gonna go with Amazon or eBay because it just takes focus. Yeah. Like all the people you see on YouTube, from Rockstar Flipper to Bonafide Hustler to Rally Roots, like the only reason they're having success is because they took the time and they focused and yeah. they learned and they never gave up on it. They didn't jump from thing to thing. Like a lot of people have multiple income streams because like they've been doing it. Like I've been doing this for six years yeah. now. Like Rally Roots probably longer. Bonafide Hustler like. 
20 years now. Yeah. So wow. it's crazy though, man. Like mm -hmm. you've got the awareness. Now you just yeah. gotta focus, man. I got the man. age and the experience ahead of me. <laughs> He's got the youth. <laughs> yeah, the youth. Cool, so any final words for the people? Any last bits of advice or tip for the people watching, excited? Um, Big tip, just do what makes you happy. I thought for a while that I needed to make money and just work the consistent job just to make money and I wasn't able to really even pay my bills then and it was just frustrating. So now I'm just doing what I love and I'm slowly making money and I just see it. I see higher in the future yeah. than right now. And another big thing is um, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Mm. Focus on that. It takes cool. time. It's not. It's not going to be quick. Awesome. Love it, brother. Yep. Uh, tell the people where they can follow you and subscribe to your channel because he's been crushing it. Yeah. Like, not only in the YouTube comments but also in the videos. Yeah. So it's uh, Martin Thrift Store. It's Martin from Thrift Store Gold. And yeah, I've been I'll link on it up Instagram. In the yeah. Instagram Martin Thrift Store Gold and yep. Facebook just Martin Tiedemann. Cool. Well, awesome. Appreciate yeah. you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you in the next that one. Like button, guys. All right. Peace. What's up? Oh, we were hey, I sold an e-flip book. An e-flip? How much? Fifty-three dollars. How much you pay for it? Um, probably ten bucks. Yeah, yeah. So she's been she spent quite a bit of money on e-flip books this year. This is one on my own, not, oh. not the school season. Oh, so oh, okay, the ones that were selling I like all year long. Oh, nice. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm yeah, it's it. awesome. We're over here at Goodwill right now in Manchester, Connecticut. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we're uh, this is our last stop before we all kind of shower up, check into our hotels, and then we're gonna go over to Maggie McFly's. So uh, Javier, man, what's your experience so far, bro? Super good. Yeah. I learned a lot. You must be pumped about that Patriots yeah, game, dude. That was insane. You must have been freaking pumped. Hey, Janelise, we got a uh, Patriots fan over here. What were your thoughts on that Tom Brady performance fourth quarter? Yes. <laughs> what do you think about that? I love it. Let us know in the comments, guys. Are you a Tom Brady fan or not? Yeah. No. No? No. Why? I'm from Buffalo. <laughs> How'd the Giants do this year? I don't know. Bills Bill suck. We don't watch football. There. <laughs> I wonder if this is all we have right now, or if the group is slowly fading out. I think this is about all we have left. Hey, no lollipops when you're thrifting. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, Jerry, uh, is Jerry coming? Uh, probably. And hey, Jesse. Jesse is coming. So, Kristen, what was your best find so far of the day? A pair of vintage. That was close. <laughs> vintage 80s pants. Hot pink. They're like track pants. Okay, what did you pay for them? Track pants. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think do that like one that. more time. No, no. Hold on. Do that one more time. Do it again. Behind camera only. <laughs> they must have been about. So you did that fast too. Three dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And they're gonna sell for. I would say maybe twenty-five. I didn't okay. check the comps yet, but yeah, that's awesome. what I know. Solid, solid find. And let me ask a question to. Hmm. Let's see. Paul, right? Yes. Who here has inspired you based on their hustle or their grind? Is there anyone that stands out to you? He's looking, he's observing. Greg. Oh. Greg, you have you inspired Paul today. How did you how did how did he how did he inspire you? Oh, uh, he's the he's the magician over here pulling stuff out of the thin air. Isn't it crazy the clothing items that he pulls out? It's like yeah, I love it. That's it's right. unbelievable. And you've been full time selling clothing since, since you quit your valet driving job. Yeah, about two and a half years ago. Wow, yeah, I love Amazon. that is awesome. What are you? Are you vlogging over here? Yeah, I, just I getting the, the, yeah, I like I like these events. Dude, so. you're you're. Why is it so dark? I'm you gotta five, turn I'm your brightness. I'm at five percent. <laughs> it's like pitch black. <laughs> I'm at five percent. Give me a better. Jerry. I know, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm like super excited about is I'm talking. Yo, get your camera out of my face. Get, get your camera out of my face. So like Jesse from Good School is giving me some really good information. Yeah, all the different and categories too. Exactly. Have different so I don't, just don't totally yeah, yeah, understand yeah, yeah. it yet. Behind the scenes of Mama Profit. <laughs> so much more of an understanding and a grip on it. So I'm like super excited for that. <laughs> Trip was well worth it already. <laughs> now let me ask you, was it how you expected it to be, the thrifting meetup? Or did you think it was going to be like different? Um, 
I don't know. I... Are you coming back again? I'm just kidding. No, uh, yeah, I will be back again, <laughs> definitely. But I, I pretty much, yeah, I expected it to be like this. I didn't know how many people until you posted the picture from last year. Yep. So that, um, oh, my God. I expected it was going to be like that. <laughs> yeah. Then, but yeah, I was shocked to see how many people were here. It's today crazy. And just like how nice everybody is and just willing to share information. It's just like. Is there anyone that stands out here who's helped you a lot or given you some good tips? Um, oh, yes. Definitely Jesse from this school. Yeah. Jesse from this school has been like helping me along the whole way as well as um, Brandon. Yeah. Brandon, um, what's his YouTube channel? Uh, Forrest Fines, I believe. Okay, so Forrest Fines, yeah, I just know him as yeah. name, but Brandon has been like, well, that's cool. Side. Anything I ask him, he's, you know, I'd get it, I wouldn't, or tells me why. And same awesome. With, same with Jesse's been helping me look stuff up. And, well, it's awesome that you're 19 and you're hustling so hard, man, and it's definitely got to get you on a video sometime. Yeah, definitely. Once I started YouTube, yeah, yeah, I got you. Once you got it, start one every day. Yeah, I'm gonna start a new YouTube. Yeah, dude, trust me, I got you. I got you. Cool. My my battery's about to die. I gotta swap out. Yeah, I'm about to go buy some books right under her, right under her nose. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. So we're at Goodwill. Last stop. Yep. Always got to look in the bins to see if there's anything in here. These are probably been devoured already. Oh, I love this show. Dexter. Yeah, you found your mom's good DVD. Oh yeah. So, if you ever watch any of my videos, there's a lot of content coming I in from this channel. A lot of yeah. Videos. I'm sure there's stuff that I haven't seen, but I have watched yeah. a lot. All the magic goes down in here. This is one of the highest grossing this thrift one? stores in all of Connecticut. Wow. Yeah. Oh, the battery's gonna die. Too bad. Did you say it was the highest person? Yeah, yeah. This is nice. Yeah, this was at least like a year ago, so it might have changed. <laughs> You're gonna have to find out for yourself, but usually you can tell if it looks like a tornado has hit the books. It doesn't yeah, look too bad. <laughs> Mama Profit, behind yeah. the scenes. Yeah, I'm not gonna look for books. Why? Don't be scared of the competition. No. <laughs> I'm not scared at all. Paul, are you scared of the competition? No. No, he's not. Greg, are you scared of the competition? <laughs> he is scared. Okay, that's okay. Hey, Timmy, are you scared? <laughs> Board games, so much money to be made. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Oh yeah, you're gonna try scanning them? Those look interesting, only two bucks. Give them a shot, give them a little scan. A little scan scan. Yeah. Behind the scenes with Mama Profit. But they, they would have been gone by this morning if... Uh... You never know, that's, that's... That's it, you never know. They you do never know. They could have just come right out now. But you're probably right, to be honest. And these are targets. Yeah, a lot of the Target stuff gets beat up quick. Oh, you need to get a picture. That's all right. I'm just here to... Here to have fun? To have fun and... Uh... Are you here to make friends with the competition? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Over here at dinner right now at Maggie McFly's. Yeah. They know me. Oh yeah, I'm <laughs> Who knows you, Mama Prophet? Savers. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, okay. We're gonna orchestrate that. We got something, we have like a huge surprise. Well, it's kind of my surprise, but I'm gonna share it with you guys. Something crazy going down. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna make a joke, but I'm not Do it, do it. No, no. no. <laughs> what are you gonna say? No, I'm not saying. What? No, no, I'm not saying it. <laughs> so, right now, we are having our first Connecticut Thrifting Meetup MVP Awards. And what we're doing is we're filling out three questions who had the coolest find, who was the most helpful. And who, who's thrifting hustle inspired you? And each person's gonna win fifty dollar prize, and everybody's voting right now. Who'd you vote for? Who'd you vote for? Jesse J. Who's Craig? Do you really want to know? I do just say this. I should start saying this. Those flashes. Yeah. Great flashes. Is that a video or a camera? Both. This is a picture. This is a video. 
No. You ready? Wow. All right, guys, don't mind me. Yep. Uh, excuse me, everybody. Attention, please. Attention. Attention, attention. So, um, how many of you have met Steve through YouTube or social media? What's that? Met Steve through YouTube. How did you guys meet? Right? Or social media. Uh, so most of us know Steve from. Cut in front of you a little. And then you know it's made it easy for us to get to meet him in person with these meetups, which is awesome. Not everybody does that. Um, Steve has been with Steve Lee for maybe almost two years now. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah
crushing it all day long. He's a young guy, drove what, six, six and a half hours all day. Yeah, no, I gave it away. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> it could be either one of them. Yeah. Zach, man, you wiped him. Yeah. 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 Because I just call it the MVP award. That's like the worst thing ever. I like that. What was your? I got the just got these four calculators. Back to back. What was that one? Outlander, right? In the bottom No, back to back hanging on a shelf. So I pulled one off. Another one sitting there. So close your eyes. Put your hand in here. We don't know what you're gonna find. You put one thing out. I totally got that. So there's a lot of people helping. A lot of people helping. And what's cool about this event is everybody has their own like specific niche, right? We got people doing toys in the house right now. We got books. We got man, Tim, you do everything, man, from RA to eBay to clothing. Um, where's Greg? Right there, man. The clothing masters. This was a tough competition right here. There was a lot of votes coming through. And uh, Greg, you won, man. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I'll take her over there. Cool, thank you. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 This last year's part is kind of hard. So, I'll have to take it. So, the last question is name one person who's thrifty and inspired you to step up your reselling game. So, I didn't know. Man, there's a lot of people hustling here from all ages, right? From all locations, people are hustling for different things. The winner here, this was a, you know, this was actually a crazy battle because it came down to the last one. It was tied four votes to four votes. So I'm not gonna say who the other person was, but Jesse came out a winner, man. Yeah. So we just got done with Maggie McFly's and now we're getting over to Dave and Buster's. Not sure if you can see that or not, but it says eat, drink, and play up there. This is the place to be, to eat, drink, and play. I can tell you that. Who do we have here? Rare appearance by the Thrifty Flamingo. The Thrifty Flamingo in the house. We got Jay with the Thrifty Flamingo and Karen. It's cold. It's cold. What are we doing outside right now? Wait for you. Oh, no, she's never this cold feels anymore. like amazing to you, huh? She's never cold anymore. I'm not. So your babies do when? Tuesday. Tuesday? <laughs> Tuesday. Whoa. Tuesday. I'm calling a butter in an oven. I'm, this is oh. Man, how do you feel about becoming a father? It feels great, man. Can't wow. wait. Wow, you're going to have to Can't switch wait. up that hat once you become a father. <laughs> That's not changing. <laughs> you guys ready to go in? It's cold. Let's go inside. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Woo! Wow. Bringing her back to her college days. Woo! Now you see that thing spinning in there? Get up. Teamwork. Come on, 
Cody, what what the heck is going on here? Zach, you're getting murdered. Babe, 69? Are you serious? So day two, we uh, just met up with everybody from the Connecticut Thrift Meetup for breakfast, and it's a rainy day right now in Connecticut. And uh, yeah, this is our last thrift store. We got, what do we got here? Tina. Hey, what's going on? From Delaware in the house. We're going to hit this Goodwill. We're going to crush it. She's going to make so much profits that she's not going to know what to do. That's right. Great to have you here. Appreciate you. Let's see what we find in here. Oh, there's a bird's nest inside of the D of Goodwill. Not a bad place to hang out. Woo! Well, appreciate you guys watching. It's crazy out here. We're gonna go find some profits. Come to the next Connecticut Thrift Meetup. Hopefully, we'll see you there. What's up? What's up? Thrift School, live in action. Four now. Yeah. 